Thank you so much for talking to me today. You're welcome. Um, yeah. For those who don't know, could you maybe tell us a little bit about Down Dog, what it's, what it's all about? It's the story of Frank, who's been a, he's a bad dad. He's, sort of, he's got sort of sex addiction, addiction issues. He's slightly wayward. He's, got, he's fallen in with his um, boss um, and socialised and drinks and um, takes up as he shouldn't. So he's been a bad um, father to his son, who's turning out to be a rather errant son. And his uh, wife realizes she needs to do something to kind of his ex-wife rather to drag him back to help his um, son going off the rails. Uh, now I, I almost dare to ask this, but what was it that inspired this this story? Well, the, I think it's just looking around us. It's uh, this Frank. I, I I find him wherever I go, in Colombia, in Canada, in the U.S., in Mexico. There's this man who is failing to connect with the people he loves. And then it's a, it's a sad story, but it's a comic story at the same time. All the things we do to hide from that fact that we cannot achieve what we are trying to achieve. Um, and so what was it that attracted you to this project? The, 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 we wanted to bring kind of the attention to one very sad reality, which is like almost half of young men in the UK are growing without their fathers. Uh, and that creates all sorts of problems. Uh, and I think it's, it's, uh, we should do more. And we are trying to use film to point to that issue and say, hey, we can do more. Uh, men need support, need help to connect with the people they love. So that's what brought us together. Um, and so how do you sort of balance the interplay between the f farcical almost and then some quite serious and, and meaningful messages within the film? Well, you know, like life, we hope it's 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 funny and it's sad, and um, and we hope it's very funny in places and very sad in in other places, and uh, and so you know, it is a, as films often are. It is a sort of a journey of a, you know a guy who 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 is getting things wrong, um, and we hope we haven't shown the women to be the all-knowing moral centres of the universe, but they certainly, in most cases, I think, and in our film, they seem to uh, have um, more of a grasp of what certainly what their children need. Um, from life, um, and it is really about sort of slightly about the salvation of of um, this this um, teenage boy who's um, going off the rails, not in a, in a major way, but he certainly needs um, a more stable environment. We're not saying all couples should stay together, um, however much they hate each other, but certainly the, pre the presence of a father is obviously um, a great help. And um, and men doing stupid things is always um, when it's not distressing, <laughs> it's quite funny. Um, so I hope we captured that. And and how was it on on set working with the cast and, and getting so you got a great a great cast for this film and it was it was yeah. I would say a lot easier than we thought we gave them a lot of power so they could come with uh, to us with new dialogues new lines changing whatever of course at the end we had to make a decision it's like we rejected most obviously of the actors but they did actually they did bring a lot and they mm -hmm. they. they became kind of the characters and, and we had a wonderful relationship. We never screamed at each other. We treated us with a lot of respect. We had fun and we had to deliver in the time and budget that we had. So I think I was very impressed how professional they were. A really good sort of um, 19 year old type back. Cause it's not, a, it's a tricky age to, to, to capture. And there's a bit of innocence and there's a bit of sort of, it's a tumultuous time for, as a human being. And the, the actors are just fantastic. And, Particularly those, um, well, they're all good, but the particularly that age, you know. Um, so see it for that alone. Um, so how has it been being a part of the Rain Dance Film Festival for you guys and experiencing that? Yeah, it's a it's a great opportunity to be out there. What the, what's the to be discovered? So and to discover new new things. We are gonna have our screenings pretty soon. We'll see how it goes, but uh, it's uh, it's good. And so what was your first sort of interaction or, or knowledge of rain dance? When did you first sort of hear about it? Yeah. Actually, we, we did not apply for rain dance. I, I don't know how someone from the rain dance saw our film and, they, and then we received an invitation, which was very nice, but we were not expecting it. <laughs> and so how's, how's the production been? Has it, has, have you had fun doing it? Well, I know it's, it's 
sort of that interplay, but it's a, you've got some very funny moments in the film. It sort of must be. Yeah. I think it helps if you're doing a comedy. You, you sort of know it's less of a uh, an unknown factor, perhaps, when you come to edit it, because you know that well at least it's been people responded on a on a kind of gut comedy level to to the lines. I think with the drama, often you, it's it's more of a kind of um, mystery journey and, and and seeing how it all whether it presses the right buttons by the end. So, um, but you know we have our. Um, um, we've done a lot we, the editing process is is um it's incredibly exciting because you can change so much with so um with so many so many different ways you can you can throw it up in the air and see what's what's left so um and in my experience of, of TV, generally of tv is that it's it's a different process and it's there's less it's less of a um um there's less room to maneuver so it's been uh, it's, the production has been great so how has, how has that developed? Is, have we ended up with a different beast than when we started, or is it? No, I think it's it's ninety percent the same beast. We changed the order in the story a little bit. Uh, we created kind of a story within a story uh, that was not in the original script, but I think it works, like in getting people's interest, you know what's going on. So we start at the end. That's the the second scene in the movie, and and then that captures people's imagination. Now, why is this guy doing throwing himself out of a window? <laughs> no, so that was not in the original script. But then we move things around, and I think it works. And uh, so, what would you say? Not necessarily what the audiences can expect, but what do you want them to experience or even take away from viewing the film? It is. I mean, we're sort of appealing to. Um, a quite you know one of the better term quite a laddie audience in a way because it's quite a it's quite a lot of male bonding and it's quite a lot of um, um, the main character works for a sort of um, sex toy company and so there's um there's some some larky male behaviour but also we want to um, I, I hope it appeals to um, to women because it is particularly um, uh, it's examining you know the, the, the delicacy of um, what you do if you split up with your husband your partner and and how whether you can lure them back in how you combine diplomacy with you know with shouting to get what you want um and um so there's a you know it, it is hopefully a mixture of uh, every i hope will find something for them and as i say there's some good um some, some nice um teenage um parts and some and some and a focus on that sort of late uh, adolescent angst so um um, not that we've set it up deliberately to um, lure all all sorts in, but it is. Um, I, I think it's a lot going for it in terms of um, wide audience. Yeah, yeah, and also that hopefully it's a very painful s issue, and and ideally, and I'm sure most of the people who are going to watch the film know what or had experienced something like this. So that ideally, they they connect with Frank and they don't judge Frank. It's very easy to judge him and say, oh, he's a moron. He's a, but at the same time, if you put him yourself in his shoes and try to go through his journey and try to understand his pain and his loneliness, what we try to capture in the, in the poster, where he's alone, he turned himself into a dildo, mm -hmm. trying to connect, trying to create intimacy with the people he loves. But that's the limit, no? And uh, he's very lonely. And he needs them. So uh, hopefully the film, if you to really enjoy it, you have to let go of that kind of judgment of like against him and put yourself in his shoes and, and enjoy the ride.